All right, this is a budget tricopter build. Um, I'll explain to you how I built it and what's going on with it after I fly it because most people just want to see it fly. So, here we go. It's got extremely good vertical. Here we go. Not hard to come out of those. All right, so that's how it flies. It's very steady. Okay, let me take my hat off here. All right, what we got is RC Explorer's awesome design. What I did was I enlarged the plate bigger than his design so I could have my board here, my battery here. I have a place for the battery on the back. It kind of stretches. Um, and then the video camera can go up front. The camera we actually got right here can go up front. That can go in the back and kind of bounces all back out. Um, arms do fold so it's easy to transport um, the servo in the back is the most rudimentary thing you'll ever see I literally took a piece of this cut it in three pieces glued it together and then mounted the motor and I drilled a hole through it crooked into the back crooked and it's just a uh, sheetrock screw and um, you know, just tighten it up until it becomes, uh, you know, where you can turn it, but it doesn't have a lot of slop. And then for control mechanism, again, very, 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 very simple. I took a, uh, just a control rod, clevis, did a 90 degree bend on it, shot a hole through it. And again, you'll notice I put it through crooked because that's just what I do. And uh, that's your whole mechanism. Let's tighten that up there. A couple zip ties. The other thing that helps is we zip tie on the motors. I just built this last night, so I haven't even trimmed all the stuff off. But you zip tie the motor straight on, it's good and tight. You have a wreck, hopefully it'll bust loose. Um, other nice thing about this build is you're using GWS 8.4 props. I get them at Hobby, uh, uh, Hobby Parts. I can get 20 pairs of them shipped for $24. Um, you got to do some balancing, but I have yet to break one in flight. Um, this one's using the 18 amp, 1820 super simple speed controllers. Um, this draws 30 amps at full throttle. If you're running the uh, uh, 1300 kV motors from uh, RC Timer, this is a 2830-8 slash 1300 kV motors. Uh, they're uh, 11 bucks a piece, 8 bucks a piece, $22 for the Hobby King board. It is flashed with um, it's flashed with uh, Lazy Zeros. It's a 168 board with the Acro um, tricopter on it. Everything's set at 100%, or I'm sorry, 150% on my servo throws and about 40 or 50% on the um, Expos. Um, Hobby King cheap receiver, the beeper, land beeper. I get nine minutes of flight of just average flying around, probably eight minutes of really going crazy, or about 10 minutes of just hovering around. Um, servo on the back is a $5 um, Metal Gear 
Hobby King Corona Servo. I think it was four dollars and fifty-five cents for the servo. So uh, you add it all together, you got um, I don't know, maybe a hundred bucks. And also using this Gen Ace uh, 20C battery, um, it's a pretty good battery for 30 amp and less, maybe 40 amp on on a good day. Um, it's nothing like the 25C Gen Ace uh, 2200s. It is, uh, but you know, it's darn good for 10 bucks. Um, flies this thing great. I get plenty of flight time, and that's about it. Um, hope this works for everybody, but it's just a it's a great little oh big 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 thing piece of EPP gives you directional control covers up your electronics you know you have a hit you got something that'll keep that from breaking and and the main thing is directional control you can see which way it's going the nose kind of points and tells you where the front is and that's where we all have problems with we get confused so that pink yellow you know it's all about direction. That's what I crash, crash most of my stuff is because I can't figure out which way it's going. So that's it, boys and girls. Enjoy.